Okay, now that we have the host name set on the routers, the next thing I wanted to do is to uh, come in here and just do a little design. Um, design our uh, network topology that we have set up here. We're going to, uh, you can add stuff, add text to the topology by just clicking here on add a note. Click wherever you want to put it. What we're going to do here is just put our uh, our submit that we're going to use for this uh, example here for this point-to-point -point serial connection. We're going to use a slash thirty. Um, the dot zero is the network address. The dot three is the broadcast. So we know we have two usable IPs. The dot one and the dot two. Uh, that's the best subnet mask for point-to-point -point configuration because it uh, s saves the uh, uh, saves instead of wasting a whole class C using like a slash 24 we can uh, minimize the amount of IPs that we're going to use we're just going to use four, uh, two so we can use a slash 30 to get our two usable IPs so we still have a bunch uh, of IPs in that subnet, that class C still to use. Okay, so we got the dot one and dot two. Our next what we want to do is go in here, um, save our configuration. Next, what I wanted to do is to go in here and uh, use the description command. To do that, we want to go under global configuration mode and then go under the uh, serial zero zero interface for router zero and just type in the description command. What this command allows us to do is to set the description for the interface. Uh, we want to put in here, just put in here connection to R1. Now if we do a show interface S00, we'll see that we have the uh, description under here, connection to R1 set. You can also do a show interface description, and you'll see it as well there, connection to R1 under description for serial 00. Let's do it for the other side. Again, it's the same interface that's connected, serial 00 on R1. Is connected to R0 as indicated in our topology summary. Go back, show interface serial 00. We see the description is properly there, properly set up, and it's there. And if we do a show interface description, it should be there too. Okay, so we're good to go. Uh, description is just a good command, you know, if you've got a lot of uh, connections on your router, a lot of interfaces, and uh, you don't know which is which, you can use the description command to set it up so you know exactly what router you're going to. Our switch, or other network device. Okay. Uh, next. You probably notice here that it says status admin down, uh, protocol down. Uh, what this is indicating at is that uh, admin down is just saying that it's manu manually been shut down. Um, what we need to do to change the status of that interface is to um, to enable the interface or admin that port up. Another command I'll show you if we do a show interface serial 00, uh, like it says serial 00 is admin down, line protocol is down. Uh, this first state here, admin down, that's if, okay, if I go in here and change, if I go into interface serial 00 configuration mode and do a what's called a no shutdown, that's going to manually uh, enable the port. So our admin up the port is what we would do. So once I put that command in, 
hit end, go back to privilege mode, and then do a show interface serial zero zero. We see that it shows right now that it's up, line protocol up. However, the other side, if we go to router zero zero or router zero and do a show interface serial zero zero, we see it's still admin down. So this should come down here any second. Uh, after you know it's reached a certain time period, the keep alives come back. It says, hey, I can't reach router zero. So it's going to automatically go into uh, uh, line protocol down. Uh, also, what we see here in uh, the status, this column over here where it says admin down, um, this is indicating uh, basically the physical link, the layer one. Okay. Uh, if you admin the port up and you still see this show down, um, that's usually a good indication you got a layer one problem. Uh, so you check cabling, you know, check uh, check your cabling, make sure you got everything connected correctly. You got this the right cables uh, set up. Uh, line protocol, if that is, you know, if if you if you got you know good layer one connectivity, this is going to show up and then line protocol is going to show down. Uh, if you see line protocol is down, that's usually indicating a, a layer 2 problem in the OSI model. Uh, layer 2 uh, could be anything from uh, encapsulation on the interface to uh, encryption. So you want to check those things. Uh, those are common layer 2 problems that would cause the line protocol to stay down. So, go back over here. Uh, let's go ahead and admin up both sides here. I do again. No shutdown command is going to admin the port up. So if I come back here, you see line protocol. See link. The state to up and line protocols is up. Okay, now you see R1 shows that it's up too now. So it looks like we're up on both sides. The one thing I wanted to talk about next, probably wondering, well, uh, how can this be up? Yeah, we haven't talked about uh, timing because uh, we all know serial connections. You know, you have to have timing. One side has to be providing timing. The other side is receiving. Um, GNS3 is kind of unique. If we were to look, use the show controllers command to look at the. Uh, uh, you know, a, a more advanced um, settings under, you know, your, your serial connection. Uh, if we look under here, we can see the actual, uh, what kind of cable we have under here. It says a DCE, and that's the tricky thing about GNS3. It's not going to be like an actual physical uh, connection where it's going to show one side DCE, which is the clocking side, and the, one time, what, the other side is the DTE, which is the terminal side the side that's receiving clocking from the DC and I'll show you this because uh, if we look at the show controllers command on the other side uh, it's showing the exact same thing so you have a DCE on both sides and uh, that cannot happen um, so that's why I'm saying uh, it's going to give you it's going to show you that both sides are providing timing but that's not the case. In, in an actual lab, you know, a physical lab scenario, you're going to have one side's going to show DCE and the other side should show DTE.